Hey, what's up guys? Will is here with DJI. In this video series, we're gonna be unboxing the Phantom 2 Vision, set it all up, and get you prepared for your first flight. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna notice when you take your kit out of the box is this introductory kit. Inside, you're gonna find three sets of decals. There's red, blue, and pink. Also, there is a quick start guide. This tells you all the basic things you need to know, as well as a step-by-step -step process of building your Phantom, as well as connecting your smartphone to your camera so you can start taking pictures and videos. On your upper left-hand corner is your uh, QR codes and it takes you to videos such as this one, as well as others in this video series. Just that. Next up is the Phantom 2 Vision List. This is your packing list. It tells you everything that's in the box and all the names of each component. This is your Phantom Pilot Training Guide. This is your key to becoming an excellent pilot. It teaches you all the basic maneuvers, so you can start rising, maneuver to the left, and to the right, and uh, all the way to some advanced flying techniques so you can start flying circles around objects. So here's that. And although the Phantom can be fun to fly, and it's also an amazing tool to capture your stunning pictures and videos, there's also some precautions that one must take when flying an object in the air as well as uh, working with lithium polymer batteries. This disclaimer, can help you better understand the safety involved when fly with flying the device and uh, ultimately giving you a safe flying experience. Let's see what's in the box. Now here is the Phantom 2 Vision. Let's take this bubble wrap off. Comes with a lens cap. And this here is the 14 megapixel camera that's capable of capturing both JPEG and RAW as well as up to 30 frames per second on full HD 1080p as well as up to 60 frames per second for the slow motion users at 720p. In the back here is your smart battery. Uh, to remove the battery, simply pinch on the top and right uh, bottom tabs and pull. There you go. So that's the battery and the Fan 2 Vision. So let's go ahead and charge this battery. In this white box, you're gonna find this AC adapter. So let's plug this in. Now on the connection here, you will, when you open up the tab, you'll see two prongs. On the battery here, you'll see two ports. So there's no wrong way to charge this battery. There's only one way. So go ahead and insert the prongs in the port and you'll see your, uh, your light starting to illuminate. And three lights means it's about 75%. Four is you're getting to 100, but once you're fully charged, your light's gonna stop illuminating. And you can check your battery uh, voltage by just pressing this button right here. And it'll tell you it's about 75%. So let's leave this charging. Also included in the white box is a micro USB cable. This micro USB cable allows you to connect your Phantom with, in this port right here to your Mac or PC with the, uh, with the assistance software available on www.dji.com. So more on that later. So here's your USB cable. Next up, this is your radio transmitter. The device speaks for itself. It allows you to control the Phantom and fly your flying camera. And also provided is a legend here that tells you what each blinking light means. There's the color of yellow, green, and red. So we'll go through that. Next up, the Wi-Fi range extender. This device allows you to connect your smartphone to the vision camera so you can get a live feed of what the camera is seeing in real time, as well as the ability to control the camera's tilting angle and camera settings such as your ISO, white balance, uh, frame rate, resolution, and more. So let's go ahead and charge this, uh, this device here using the micro USB cable that was provided in the white box. In this micro USB socket right here. And you're gonna see an orange light. Once it turns green, it means that this uh, is fully charged. So we'll keep this charging for right now. This is your smartphone holder. 
It mounts right on your radio transmitter like this. So you can mount your smartphone right here. So your whole command center is in the palm of your hands. We'll mount this in a bit. And each kit comes with two sets of self-tightening propellers. We'll go through this in a bit. And the last things in the box are two small bags. One includes a screwdriver that has both a flathead as well as a Phillips head. We'll be using the Phillips head later to mount the smartphone holder on the radio transmitter. So let's prepare that right here. This other bag includes a lot of spare parts as well as some tools that's gonna to be used. Now, some of these spare parts include rubber dampers. These rubber dampers hold the vision camera on the Phantom. So it uh, eliminates the, uh, the jello effect when you're, when you're filming video. So we'll put these here. This is a propeller tool that holds the, fan the, uh, the motor on the Phantom down while you twist your propellers off when you need to transport it. So here's the propeller tool. Uh, there's some spare screws. Spare screws. There's these rubber feet. The spare rubber feet that sits on the bottom of your landing skid of your Phantom. In case it wears out, here are the spares. Um, there are some tape to, uh, to tape down some loose wires. And what we're looking for now are the M3 Star 5 bag. And these screws mounts the smartphone holder on the radio transmitter. So we're gonna put this aside. Let's take this out of the bag. As well as a, a metal bracket uh, cover that, uh, that covers the smartphone holder. So we'll put this here as well. So that's everything in the box. Let's go ahead and install the parts needed for your radio transmitter. First up, is your Wi-Fi range extender. So, so let's start with uh, unscrewing this mount here and uh, holding the bolt down. So facing the LED towards us, let's insert the hole so they're all matching up and insert the screw through the series of holes and start tightening them down. All right, once that's set, just make sure when you're flying your Phantom, always face this flat surface towards the device so you get the best results. So let's go ahead and mount this smartphone holder on the radio transmitter. To do this, put your radio transmitter on the side and facing the flat surface towards up, go ahead and grab that metal bracket cover on top. And using those screws that was inside the bag and the screwdriver inside the other bag, go ahead and tighten it down. And the other one. Perfect. Now, let's mount this smartphone on. So now you have your full command center at the palm of your hands. And the last portions. Now these decals are not just for its good looks, but it also helps your orientation. So you always know which way your Phantom is facing just by looking at it. So we'll mark the fronts. So make sure the long strip goes towards the center and the shorter strip goes towards the arm. And while we're at it, let's stick a DJI logo on there. Beautiful. And uh, and last but not least, our self-tightening propellers. Each set comes with a counterclockwise and a clockwise. There's a black cap as well as a silver cap. And if you look closely, let's take these tabs off. 
If you look closely on these motors, you'll find that there's a black dot on this motor and there's, a, there's no dots on this motor. So let's line this up by sticking the black cap on the motor with black dot and the silver one with the one with no dot. Once again, these are self-tightening propellers. So the black one symbolizes that it's going to spin counterclockwise. So if we try to spin clockwise to tighten this down, it's gonna continue spinning and will not tighten. But if you spin it counterclockwise, it's gonna automatically tighten. And as it's flying, it's going to continue spinning the tightening direction. So let's go ahead and spin clockwise here. That's tight. And let's line these two up as well. So silver on the silver, and the black on the black, and counterclockwise, clockwise. Perfect. So we've successfully put our Phantom 2 Vision package together. Uh, now we're just going to wait for our battery to finish charging. We're gonna read our manual, and on our next video, we're gonna be showing you how to connect your smartphone to your Vision camera so you can start taking pictures and videos. I hope this video is helpful and uh, see you next time. Thank you very much.